Interested to find out what to do while you're in Prague? This video will take you on a tour of the city's top attractions. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Europe's Travel Tips. Prague. The Czech Republic's capital and city of a hundred spires is an architectural marvel and one of Europe's most best-preserved towns. The city bordering the Vlatva River is suitable for weekend getaways or a launching point for further exploration of the Czech Republic's beauty. In this video, we'll show you the 10 best things to do in Prague, especially if it's your first time visiting. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and enable notifications and share your own Prague experience in the comments below. Number 10. The Jewish Quarter 10th century Jewish settlements in Prague have been a major hub of Jewish life and culture ever since when the Jews were prohibited from settling in other districts of Prague. The area between Old Town and the Vlatva River became the Jewish Quarter. It's possible to get a sense of what life was like in the Jewish ghetto by visiting museums in the neighborhood. There are several excellent synagogues to be seen, including the Old New Synagogue, Meisel Synagogue and others at the Jewish Museum, which is Prague's most popular museum. The Old Jewish Cemetery contains multiple strata of tombs. The iconic Franz Kafka statue can't be missed either. Next door to the Jewish Quarter, you'll find Paris Street, a popular shopping destination full of high-end boutiques and designer businesses. Number 9. Old Town Square Old Town Square is a historic square located in the center of Prague's Old Town. The variety of architectural types on display in the square creates a stunning backdrop. A Gothic-style church of Our Lady before Tien with distinctive towers is also located in Old Town Square, as are several other notable buildings and statues, and on the other side of the square is St. Nicholas Church. The Old Town Hall, a complex of numerous structures, including the Old Town Hall Tower, is the main draw on the plaza, but it isn't the only one. Be sure to check out the Old Town Hall's famed astronomical clock, which is the world's oldest running astronomical clock. Twelve apostle figurines adorn the clock and one appears atop the dial every full hour. Check out the beautiful chapel and climb the clock's rotating mechanism from within while you're there. The Prague Meridian, a former timepiece, may be found in the square as well. Number 8. Vishirad On a hill just outside Prague, Vishirad is a historical fort. Rather, according to a legend, Vishirid was the site of Prague's first inhabitants. Basilica of St. Peter and St. Paul and Vishirid Cemetery, the final resting place of many prominent Czech individuals, are housed in this spectacular monument. A park and other notable structures are also found here. Don't miss the Rotunda of St. Martin, which has been used for a variety of functions. Over the years, get away from the city's hustle and bustle at Vishirad and on a clear day take the city's skyline and the Vlatba River below. The Vishirad has a plethora of other attractions worth exploring. Number 7. Manifesto Market Florence Manifesto Market is a pop-up market and cultural center constructed from repurposed shipping containers that embody the best of today's design and environmental consciousness. The Manifesto Winter Market was on our itinerary. Enjoy the ambience as you stroll from one restaurant to another. The market calls itself the future of retail, cuisine and culture and is one of the first cashless venues in Europe. Before you visit, be careful to check the hours of operation as they may vary depending on the season. Prague street markets, however, are well known despite their differences from those found here. Number 6. Charles's Bridge since its construction in the 14th century, Prague's Charles's Bridge has served as an important link between Malastrana, the area between Prague Castle and Prague's Old Town. Charles Bridge was an important commerce route connecting the east to the west when it was constructed in 1402 and was completed in 1404. Only pedestrians are allowed to cross the bridge, which was once open to all traffic. It was not until the 19th century that Charles Bridge became known as the Charles Bridge, since it was built by Emperor Charles IV, not Charles IV himself. On either side of this over 1,700 foot, that's over 500 meters bridge, you'll find 30 statues of saints and patrons sculptured by Bohemian sculptors throughout their career. Each of the bridge's entrance is graced by a majestic tower. From the tops of the towers, you may get a bird's eye perspective of Prague. A riverside trip or the spectacular powder tower are two other options for seeing Prague. Number 5. Wenceslas Square Wenceslas Square is the Czech Republic's busiest pedestrian area and has served as a venue for a wide range of public events from massive demonstrations to celebrations. 
Aside from the fact that it is called a new town, the area in Prague that bears the name is rich in historic structures, and Wenceslas Square is one of Prague's most active areas. Wenceslas Square is home to some of Prague's most notable landmarks, including the Hotel Europa, the Karuna Palace and the Bata Shoe Store, among others. A former communist parliament building, the new National Museum is at the end of the square which includes the Czech National Museum. The statue of Saint Wenceslas is a must-see. Number 4. Alchemy One of the major hubs of alchemy, an ancient discipline aimed at turning lead into gold and uncovering other inconceivable mysteries, Prague was a popular destination for practitioners. Alchemists conducted their work in secret laboratories as the church frequently denounced the practice. Alchemy, on the other hand, was particularly popular under Emperor Rudolf II, who had a personal interest in the subject. This enigmatic tradition has left its mark on Prague for centuries, and the city is littered with evidence of its presence. Our trip took us to the Speculum Alchemiae, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was only accidentally uncovered in 2002 when floodwaters exposed the alchemist's laboratory hidden underground corridor. Number 3. Petrin Lookout Tower A funicular will take you to the summit of Petten Hill right above Prague city centre where you can ascend what looks like the Eiffel Tower staircases. When a group of Prague enthusiasts was inspired to raise funds and construct their replica of Paris's Eiffel Tower, they set out to create the Petten Hill Lookout Structure, a 60-meter tower rising over 200 feet at 60 meters above ground level. It still seems like an excellent work of engineering and on a good day, it provides stunning views of Prague. While you're there, be sure to check out the Mirror Maze, a mirrored timber labyrinth built for the 1891 Prague Exhibition as part of Petten Hill. Number 2. Prague Castle Overlooking Prague, Prague Castle is the world's largest ancient castle complex. The castle serves as the official residence and workplace of the Czech Republic's presidents. A Gothic cathedral with tombs of Bohemian kings and Roman emperors is located inside the Prague Castle along with several museums and other attractions. The Golden Lane, a historic street within the castle grounds named for the goldsmiths who once worked there, should not be missed. Franz Kafka lived in a house on the Golden Lane. Visit Daliborka a tower that once was a medieval prison and can be found just outside of Golden Lane. And don't forget to stop by Radekni Square, which is full of beautiful places and residences. Prague has a lot more to offer visitors. Number 1. The Beer Spa Beer is brewed in Prague and it's all over the place, on the sidewalks, in coffee shops, in bookstores and even in public baths. Yes, they've got a beer bath, for crying out loud, it'd be impolite not to give it a shot. There are numerous spas in Prague that provide beer baths, like the original Beer Spa and Grand Relax. They are both high-end and affordable options. They are all old news too. The practice of bathing in beer dates back to more than 2,000 years and it became fashionable in the Middle Ages. Bathing in beer isn't only a luxury, it's also supposed to have health benefits, including clearing up acne and increasing blood flow. Have you ever been to Prague's Beer Spa? Comment below and tell us what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and tap that big red button. And also hit the notification bell, and we will see you next time.